Lasagnas are quite popular with minced beef, pork and lamb. I'm going to use the same recipe to make it with our minced chicken. So first, I'm going to start with mincing our chicken breast. I have about 350 grams of chicken breast. That's about two and a half breasts. I'm going to mince them away. Now you could check out in the description below for the exact amount of ingredients used for this recipe. Similarly, I'm also going to mince my garlic, onion, peppers, zucchini and chop my mushrooms. So we've got our chicken minced and we've got our vegetables minced and chopped. Now you won't believe it, mushrooms and zucchini put together actually taste like meat. But if you do want to cut off the vegetables, you're free to do so. And if you do want to cut off the meat and make it a vegetarian pasta, then add in some aubergine and that would really add some flavor. Now, if you want that pasta recipe, click the link above. Now I'm going to start with making the lahu, for which I'm going to add a lot of olive oil to my pot and that's heating up already and I'm going to start with frying the garlic first then I'm going to add in the onions, the zucchini, the mushrooms and the red peppers. Now just as these are softening I'm going to add a tin of peeled plum tomatoes and there goes another can of peeled plum tomatoes. Now just sprinkle some salt, give that a mix and once that's nicely mixed, close it with a lid and cook that for about 20 minutes. This helps the vegetables to soften and becomes really smooth sauce. That's just over 20 minutes and you can see how soft the vegetables are. Now use your ladle and just squish the vegetables like that until all the tomatoes have nicely squished. Now just give that a mix and it's time to add in the minced chicken. Now we're going to season that with some oregano, about one teaspoon of that, a generous amount of pepper, black crushed pepper. And of course, the fresh basil leaves. And we've already added some salt, so I'm just gonna add very little salt to that. I'm also going to add one small glass of red wine to this. Mix that really well until all the spices have nicely amalgamated with that sauce and the chicken. Then close it with a lid and cook for another 30 to 40 minutes until the chicken is fully cooked. Now we do not want to overcook the chicken because we also have to bake it in the oven. So about 30 minutes and then we'll give the chicken a look. Just as my ragu is cooking on this end, I'm going to start making my white sauce. I like to start off with a slab of butter. Now as that butter melts in, I'm going to add in some finely chopped garlic. I just love the flavor that garlic brings into this white sauce. Now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of flour to this. And just as that flour has nicely dissolved, I'm going to add in about half a liter of milk. Now we'll just bring that milk to a boil and allow it to thicken up. Wow! Now you can see that sauce nicely boiling up. I'm going to add in the cheese. I've got some smoked mozzarella cheese that I've just chopped. Now trust me, the smoked mozzarella and the mature cheddar is a great flavor to the white sauce. And finally, the parmesan cheese. And at this, I'm going to turn the gas off. I'm just going to stir that up well. The heat of the sauce is going to melt that cheese and it's just so amazing. And you can see how smooth that white sauce is. Now just to give that some flavor, I'm going to add some pepper, black crushed pepper and some salt. Just give that a stir. Now that's just about 5 minutes to go and I've got my white sauce ready. And I've got the water boiling here. My lasagna instructions doesn't really ask me to boil them but I'm just going to give that a 2 minute boil in the hot water. So my lasagna sheet's cooking, 
I'm going to start to preheat my oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Now, just as the lasagnas cook, I'm going to get rid of the hot water. We don't want the lasagnas to be sticking together. And I'm also going to pour in some cold water there because we don't want the lasagna to cook while we're still arranging the sauces. So we've got the sauce ready and our lasagna is there. I'm going to start with greasing this dish with some olive oil. I've already added the olive oil there. Then I'm going to start with the ragu first and then add in the white sauce. Now just put the lumps of white sauce around and then just flatten it on the red sauce itself. Now you see my noodles are not sticking together because they've been cooling in the cold water and I'm going to overlap them obviously because of the size. Now that is the first layer. I'm going to start the second layer, goes in the ragu sauce, then goes in the white sauce and another layer of the pasta sheet. Now I'd like to finish that with more ragu sauce and the white sauce. Finally, cover that with a lot of parmesan cheese. And now I'm gonna bake that for 35 to 40 minutes in the oven. Do you see these burnt edges of the lasagna? That is what I love about this. Now let's cut into it. Wow, the layers are so soft in there. Now look at those beautiful layers of the lasagna. Mmm, I love the red wine added in this. Mmm, it's so delicious. Now if you do try this out, write in the comment section and tell me how's yours turned out to be. And just some leaves to serve along with the lasagna. And thank God it's ready.